What seems to be ailing your jungling? Well, um, I feel like usually I try to take the early game advantages that I get and use that to go for the rest of the game, but I get, hit a point around level like 8, 9, and everything I feel just starts snowballing out of my control, and I, I'm not sure when I start losing it. Okay, so we have to identify the breaking point and then assess how we can prevent this breaking point from occurring. Usually the case, uh, I think should, I would say. should mention that I am duoed with the cat, with the mid laner. Okay, so I like duoing with Katarinas um, because if they're good, it can be absolutely hysterical. Um, to turn them up a bit more, you guys, yeah, but I can see the volume levels. Okay, okay, there you go. Good. Yes. Thank you yeah, for following. Kind of a rough game, this one. Okay, well, let's start off from the beginning here. Um, so, Twitch chat will know this, and a lot of people will know this. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but it's quite common for Graves currently to do these um, these these cheese invades, like into red into Krug's invade, or simply red into invade. So I think I was, as, I was yeah, yeah. You you were surprised by this, or did you expect it? Um, I this game's a little old. Um, I think I expected yes, it, it and I think I go from I do my red side into his blue side. I think is what happens. Yeah. So just uh, a few tips about. Uh, general clears, which will help you a little bit, is um, just maximizing your KW. You know, you've got two procs on the damage, so making sure when you Q stuff that you actually get both procs on the monster, that's absolutely huge. And uh, when you have AoE camps like this one now, let's see, you order the big one, we order the big one. I mean, in this case, we could be kiting down, right? Like yeah. these, I just noticed this when I was watching the VOD, uh, just, just in terms of... Um, I guess basics, just because I want to see uh, where can we make up some time in HP, because currently you should lose no HP, you should come out of this full HP. So you're tanking all these babies while ordering the big one and then using your Q on the whole camp, it's absolutely perfect, but just make sure you're dragging it down um, to ensure that you actually maintain full HP. So that's that's one thing, because, and maybe you'll connect the dots where I'm, I'm mentioning HP, but... It, in, a, in, a, in about, like, let's say, two minutes, you're going to have an encounter with Graves, so that's that's kind of why I think that... Oh, he does, he just walks at me, right, I recall. Yeah, that, that's exactly <laughs> what he does. That's, that's what Graves does, and they think nothing the Q is going to do anything, right? Um, same thing here, I mean, the, the first Q was bad, and we're not really kiting, I mean, yeah. you know he's not going to invade you here, so you can afford to move on out, order, move back, make sure you're getting double procs on the Q. Um, mm -hmm. you've, def you've definitely taken too much damage. What was your early clear plan um, before you sort of had to audible in, into the invade? Like, what did you obviously did Raptors red Krugs? What did you want to do after this? Um, I so I saw him at my blue because there's a ward on it. Yeah, thank um, you, Jax. And then, yeah. So my plan was to go Krugs just straight into his blue side. You were gonna you were gonna do that anyway. Yeah. Wait, what, what do you mean? Like, if you like if I didn't see him on the way? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, red side, back, blue side. You want to go back to blue side? Okay. So, yeah, and then walk I in, feel like take some stuff, see if Jackson can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, if I'm thinking about this... Okay, again, you just kite the camps, make sure you hit... Um, a, yeah, let's see, that, that's better because you use both procs of your Q on the medium. So you got maximum damage and uh, talisman uh, regen. Same thing here, you can just kite it out and then queue back. There we go, okay. So, that, see, that's better already. But make sure you're doing that here. I like so, fighting Krugs. Yeah, <laughs> Krugs are fun. Um, you know, to kill. And for me, you look at these lanes. So, obviously, with Kane, what I did like is that you were looking for fights decently. You, you were jungling, right? A lot of Kanes don't jungle. They they just look for form or, or they just farm. And in essence, yeah, you need to get your form, but they've made it so that you can actually afford to just jungle... <laughs> and, and, you know, be a champion, which is nice. So if you're going to do this kind of clear, usually in Korea or high low, you'll see them do it on the red side specifically, um, just so that they can get level 3 and then into a top lane gank. Now, you can imagine being Kane on the Malphite's team, right? No. Red, uh, Raptors, Red Krugs, into this, you get experience, you get um, a kill, you get some orbs, you most likely get the crab, you reset, and then you go on down. You can do the same thing on the blue side of the map, um, 
Unfortunately, your bottom lane, because they, oh, they didn't actually leash you. You have a Yasuo. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> that's always a bit, <laughs> yeah, I'd get a bit nervous when I see that. At least you have the ability to, I mean, this is a tough lane to gank, but if you're counter jungling and eat through the wall, you can do it. You got Alistair, you've got enough DPS to kill the Ash. Mid lane, that's tough. The only difficulty ganking a Katarina as Kane is you don't have the CC, but at least if you gank him here early, 90% slow. So, I mean, I think this is possible, but you want to try and bait out his W from one gank and then repeat. There was, this... there was something weird. He like took W at level one or something. That was weird. He's, that's he doesn't have it anymore. He's level two. He doesn't have it. So fair enough. He's Q and E as normal. I totally lied then. You were, you were lied to. You were lied to by your duo. <laughs> mm. So for me, just in terms of, uh, uh, I, you know, an idealistic approach, the, the video I made before about in March, Twitch said, you remember Raptors, you skip red, you do Krugs, then you do uh, red, right? Gives you three. And now you get to sequence up and you do your blue immediately. If you do that, you have the option to go and gank top, mid. You have the option to fight for this crab. If this guy has gone to the bottom side, you should have it for free. And then if the grave shows on bottom side, you can either counter jungle him or if he doesn't, you can just sequence on down and get tier two raptors, tier two Krug. So I will, in DMs, I'll link you the video exactly how, what I mean by that. I think that should be, okay. that could be a better sort of focus for you just in terms of denying your camps from being counter jungled because that becomes an issue for you later on. So it's more about yeah. as a farming jungler in this elo, you want to maintain control of your jungle more than anything else, right? Um, you really want to ac have absolutely maximum control that the graves cannot touch you whatsoever. Um, you cannot start Krugs because Krugs starts at 140. So you basically, um, you know, if you need the toilet, go for it, but don't advise it. Twitch chat, trolls. So this is good. Again, HP stacking those very important, you know? Kite it out. Make sure you're getting double. You're just, you're just face tanking a lot of his damage. Now, did we? Did you expect to be able to get wolves and go to Gromp? Um, no. I think plan was blue wolves bot crab. Okay. So in this case, if you're gonna counter jungle him, now in terms of setting this guy for success, you know, like future riches, it doesn't really. It's not nice to give a second tier Gromp because if you took this Gromp, right, he wouldn't have mm -hmm. blue. He wouldn't have Gromp. But he'd have the Gromp coming up again in a few minutes, which would have nice experience. But for you, in terms of early experience, Gromp is really big. Now, Gromp is a bit more important. Gromp and Krugs early, you know, more important than the Raptors and Wolves. So I feel like if you're going to counter jungle anything and you're not going to do it again very soon, you might as well maximize your, what you're taking and take the Gromp, you know? I know you, I know you want the Talisman regen and stuff like this, but mm -hmm. you have Smite up. So I feel, like, I feel like Gromp and kiting down from Gromp gives you a, a, level, a level two bottom lane gank. You'll be level three. And at the very least, you could probably burn something. You know, you ping it three times and arriving because you saw the graves, right? Go top lane. Um, he took your blue and you know he took this crab because he just walked straight through mid, right? Yeah. So for you, you're thinking, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm caught out. What um, do you want to do right now? Like in, in, if, I mean, obviously you don't remember a game, but what do you think you should be doing right now in terms of how you see the map? Because obviously we know graves is down here. What do you want to accomplish? No Graves is down here. He's probably getting the crab. My first thought is back. <laughs> My second thought is gank Vlad. Okay. So similar, similar ideas, except I would want the Grump for more experience, and I would want to make sure my Yasuo gets ahead because that's hysterical. Uh, if Ash has no <laughs> F, if Ash has no F, and you can burn this early with your 90% slow on the W, um, mm -hmm. this guy is just going to eat her alive. You know, it doesn't matter what Leon is going to do. So... You also could have simply done blue and perhaps try to get scuttle control. That's something else. Um, it's possible. I'm going to try and not rewind as much as possible just because. Okay, he smites it. So here's. Here's the first encounter. Cat, come. You're running away from her, but that's fine because you have no other choice. Yeah, yeah. Let's make sure we hit that W. Okay, so, so I feel like you're very lucky. You know, thank you, teammates, for, for rotating. That's very good. Um, but I don't think you should have taken the fight. I think if you don't Q into him in this situation... Let's see. When, 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 when did you use your W? Hold up. Let's go. Na, 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 na. Okay, W's up. I used my W to try to get the crab. Ah, okay. So, you, you don't have smite. Okay, okay. 
Um, is that a... See, I, I don't think I go for the Q here. I think it's better just to simply... Maybe... Hmm... I don't think you should try and fight this. Unless yeah, you hit the Graves. W on him. It's Graves. But if you hit the W on him, right? Then, mm. then you have a better chance. But I think even trying to get that... Yeah, it's Graves. Graves and Kindred love Canes, right? They just love going straight into it. So here... If you, instead of running away, run towards your Katarina and hit this second W when it comes up, right? You could always move up this way. Um, maybe you can get something a little sooner. More orbs as well. But once your W comes up, you should use it. Okay. Like right here, just... But it's nice, it's nice. Yeah, I get, but it's nice delaying, basically. And your, your lanes rotate, which is good. So... I still think avoidable, though. I think avoidable in that you didn't want to fight him. You should have taken mm. the decisions to not fight, so... This is fine, looking for the gank on the Vlad, but in terms of lane states, don't be too corrupted by your mid lane. I mean, it's nice to get a Katarina snowballing, but realistically, with this guy having pool and flash up, and Graves being here, if you guys go in on this and any sort of mistakes happen, you, you get double killed. So I feel like you had the option to hit this plant, it should be up by now, um, to see the Graves. Like, you didn't have to go this way. You could have easily taken Gromp. Looked for the gank bottom lane, or even if you're just being cautious, hit the plan to see what the Graves is doing. And then maybe Katarina can roam proactively, and you fork him together, as it were. <laughs> um, right. inst instead of sort of being too detached from each other. But all in all, good good read and reaction. Um, just a few little sort of instead ofs, you know, but otherwise fine. What do we want to do out of the base now? Because you know at this point you lost your blue, you died... And uh, Graves is also my, dead. My so. first thought was Malphite's pushing. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get that crab and try to look top. Okay. Because I really don't want blue form this game. No, you have um, Conqueror as well. I mean, you, I mean, you could, but... So, yeah. It was get crab, go top. Okay. So Twitch said... We made, I made the remark that he might have taken top crab and gone through mid into the bottom crab, but obviously timings were an issue for the Graves. When he does that and we press tab, we'll see a CS being, um, being lower, right? So we don't really have, you know, if he has 8 CS going into this river here at level 2, you know he didn't take the crab. So that's why Kane knew to go straight to the top crab, which I like. Yay. Our, <laughs> our E-Path thing can be good. All right, we hit the slow. Um... Let's see. Let's let's assess while we're moving. So the biggest thing one can do in these situations... So currently the lane, you could gank it. Malphite has no flash, he has no mana, Jax has mana. If you go now, and by go now I mean you can either... It's a little risky to eat through here because he can just Q and run away. You could just simply go through the Rift Herald Pit, the Charisma Strat, you know, E through, E through. Like flank him really nicely. But because you wait to do the crab... Jax doesn't understand what you're doing, right? He uses all his mana and his engage. His yeah. And now the wave is pushing. Like, he doesn't understand this. So the best thing you can do is play off of that immediately. Like, if you see it to be gankable, go. The crab will be there. You know? The crab will be there, but the Malphite won't be. Because he's already backing off and now this is crashing. This, this ends up just being a waste of time for you. Um... I think we could have and should have bought a scanner, just so as soon as you, you know, you go for these, you make sure you have vision control. Um, but otherwise, the intentions are good. Okay, now we want a sequence, right? Mm -hmm. So Graves is reading you and says, yes, I count on jungle. So watch we're watching the Graves at the same time. Good ward, very good ward. Okay, nice. Get this 90% slow, you know he has... Oh, he still has F up, never mind. Oh, this one's a bad. <laughs> but... No, that's okay. You got his flash. I think that's fine. All, all of that is fine. Well, I think what happens next is not fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the, the, the Alistar goes up and does great things. I think this is where... Hmm... In theory, yes. But again, you don't have a scanner. Scanner. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you have no idea if it's warded, and I think that's the biggest issue here. If you knew it was not warded, you'd be fine. Because they're not even pinging it, but Vladimir sees that you're doing it, and sees that you're getting chunked and low. Yasuo's busy- Jeez, dude's intense. Yeah. That was very intense. Come on. So you gotta also weigh in 
to the early game here. We're sticking around. We're still doing this. Yeah, this is... I believe he steals it, right? Or do you get it? I think I get it. You don't have smite. Ah, Ash, because no. you don't have smite. Yeah. So this is this is what we call the um, the silver fiesta. <laughs> this, this is this is the special. So I liked a lot of all your intentions so far. That's very very good. Um, I think the, if the re if you've dropped down in a few days, I think maybe because uh, it's because of these little things. So um, in terms of lane impact and form and sort of pressure on the map, I think we should have looked for Grump and bottom side lane. You know, you don't need to worry about this crab. But otherwise. In principle, was all good. The fact that we wanted to go top side, get crab gang top, very good. But look at the lane, so you know. Okay, right now it's great. If I spend 15 seconds doing the crab, it's probably not going to be great because obviously Kane has a harder time doing the crab. So if you go gang top lane and then fall down, uh, maybe you get another kill there. So that's already two, right? Um, this disengage on the graves was very good. I like this, right? You walked on down, you saw him, your Katarina rotated, and you knew he stayed in your jungle, and you placed the ward there again. Very good. He gets overly aggressive, so really bad counter jungle by him, and you shove him off his bonus flash. Once you do that, you should recognize at this point that the Ash, I mean, we don't exactly know where she is because of all the stuff that's been going on, but we should recognize based upon that fight, we don't see her. Uh, you're eased down. I think, call it. Call it. Go back to Krugs. Okay. Call it and go back to Krugs. A little bit of restraint there. Because um, Alistair goes and does God's work, you know. Here we go. Hello, my son. Good night. Gives you the free assist, so you, you're, you're just saying thank you very much. And the second thing is, I'm not sure you saw on stream, right, but uh, hello, control yeah. ward. Yeah. So, for you, vision denial. Making sure you have your own control ward, of course, but check bushes if you've been counter jungle. This is great. Who placed this? Must have been Graves, huh? Very nice. <laughs> I, I would just go do the Krugs for camp sequencing. This is now, what, a, a level four Krugs? Yeah. So that's, that's really huge for you. This whole event should not happen. Because after that, right, you will have, let's see, yeah, you'll have over a thousand gold. You can go get some AD, um, some boots, and you could then look to lane gank bottom lane after you're red. So I think this this whole scenario shouldn't have happened. Yeah. What kind of communication do you have with your duo? Who makes the call on the dragon there? Uh, definitely me. Definitely? I, I'm, I'm, I'm usually super hungry for dragons. Okay. I just want them. Okay. So here, um, yeah, the, the, the two just nemesis. We had a, we had a, I had a D, D, D2, D1 player uh, who duos with the master t uh, X Master Tier top lane as well. And basically there was a control place in the jungle and he walked over it three times. And essentially this is now a meme in the Discord. The, the infamous control would just sit in a bush and give people 10 minutes of vision. So the thing is, right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it right now already. The loss of control for you in terms of experience and CS, which is what we must have over Kane. I mean, you're 36 to 20 up, right? The, all of that loss of control is is given by that dragon greed. So I think if you're telling me you're very hungry for dragons, I think just understand if you don't have vision control, and especially as Kane, yeah, you can do them, but you see you get quite low. I mean, it's it's yeah. definitely more risky. And if you don't have smite, definitely don't do it. Just go take your Krugs, reset, and from there you can simply go take your red and then go level six bottom lane, you know? It's much safer. Okay. And once you do that, now you've got a free dragon because you know the, the graves... In this case, he just died, right? The Alistair just went ham on him and took him out. Once the Graves respawns, if they know you're not on the dragon, because it's warded, right? He's going to be compelled to go to his, his second red, because that's the obsession of people in this MMR. They think, ah, my red is up. I must get it right now. Never any other time, must get it right now. So you, he's probably going to go here, which means if you simply take your Krugs, reset, get your boots and a long sword, maybe two long swords and a control ward, depending on how much gold you have exactly, um, yeah, you should be able to do that, exactly. You take this red, you'll be level 6, okay, lane gank this, get a kill, get some flashes, shove them off, take that free dragon, and now you're back at square one, where you can once again invade his jungle, and take away his farm. And that's what he's trying to do to you, so he's having better success doing to you what you should be doing to him, especially as Kane. But we don't want to fight him, per se, right? We want to use our uh, presence and tracking. So... I like this. Obviously, it doesn't take a Sherlock Holmes to understand that this dude is taking your red, <laughs> your whole red side um, and everything. So what do you want to accomplish now? Because essentially, for me, you've just... Instead of gaining a dragon and, say, two camps from him, you've lost two camps. So you've got a four-point swing in terms of experience versus the Graves. Um, looking at it now, 
I think I want to just run to his red. Okay. And then, because the Jax is destroying the Malphite. Well, in theory, yes. Yeah. So, I go in there, take the red, get a ward on Herald, and then go to my bot to my blue side. Okay. So what? So I agree with you. I, yeah. This is this was <laughs> this not what happened. <laughs> this is not what happened at all. <laughs> But I like that you thought about it now, and that for me is crucial. See, that's my problem. And everyone's like, oh, Rakai, you, you sort of slap, slap and dap around um, with jungle knowledge in your videos. It's like, yes, when I get in game, I'm like a robot. <laughs> I, which, which way, I cross all my wires in my own brain. Um, but th it's good that you thought about it anyway, yeah, exactly. You saw this sucker take your red and Krogs. You saw this, this idiot go bottom lane, take all your stuff. You know, he's Graves, meta abuser, meta hopper, degen, right? You know he's just gonna control this, so? If you go immediately, don't even touch your base. Just straight on over. Thank you for Raptors, thank you for Red, thank you for Krugs. Now, right, if you do that, you're 100% level six and a little bit of an, you know, sort of make you feel, make you feel like you're on high elo, maybe you can do a tower dive with your ultimate, you know? But again, the Jax did his own work. So this is, this is fine, right? But yeah. at the very least, at the very least you'd be in this area such that if he didn't kill the Malphite for whatever reason, you, he would be chunked and you could at least get a cleanup kill and some, and some red orbs, you know? Well, just orbs in general now. Um, I agree with you. I think if you're gonna do Herald, because you feel compelled, go right away. I, I don't know, I feel like it's a little too soon. I think at this point, taking the Herald is great, but at this, we're not, you're, you're playing too much in the river to your jungle. You're, you're not including enough of his jungle in, in sort of how you want to path in the game. See, this is good, right? But this guy, literally now, think think about what he's done to you. It's a little bit sad, actually. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna be doing five camps in the time you've done two in Herald. You know, that's the big swing, because you had the lead early. And now we go yeah. into the red, you see? So it's the classic, it's the classic decision. Um, do you actually get this anyway, though? Because he's on Raptors? I think I, think I do. Okay, now ditch. Yeah, okay. So you still get it, but but therein is the issue. Um, you you sort of think about how we're jungling. We need to path out most as possible. What can I take as far away from my home and then retrieve everything as I go back, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you imagine like you're leaving your house, you got three stops, but the first stop is ice cream. You don't want to get it on the first stop, right? You want to get it on the last one so it doesn't melt by the time you get home. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. in this case, you are, the, you are the ice cream. And so you must go and take out the outermost objective, and as soon as you do that, you can now fall back to everything else. And as he cascades down, he's just gonna match your cadence, but there's gonna be nothing. So he's gonna be sweeping like the Shadow of Mordor, trying to take everything, but then you've taken everyone in those lands and sort of retreated it back uh, to, the, to, to safety, you know? And, and that's what we're looking for. So here, if you take all of this stuff, right, now you can say, right, I do my, do my Herald, and at worst, at the very worst, Maybe you have to give up the scuttle crab in this situation. If we think about timing, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think you might even be in the exact same timing zone, because you should also have denied this plant. Like you hit this plant, you hit this plant, you leave a control ward here, which would have been huge for you. How much gold do you have? Did you have enough? Uh, I didn't check if you had enough. Probably. Let's see. I, I want to see if you had enough, so I can I can not really yell at you, but yell at you a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. We're going out. Okay, you might you might have been a little bit shy given that you're 14 gold. So, okay. You have slight forgiveness. But if we imagine this whole time you're on red right now. You're in Raptors. You're doing his Krugs. You hit the plant. You hit the Scuttle Bloomer. Yeah, you're now in the Herald. You're doing the Herald. You're doing the Herald. Graves walks in. Uh, you're just finishing off the Herald and you see him walk over this as he comes to hit the plant but everything's destroyed. Worst case, you have to give up the Scuttle. But that's worthy, a worthy trade, I think. Yeah. Now we fight. Oh, we use our Q a bit unnecessarily. We have to flash out. Uh, Jax is rotating. Here we go. There you go. Nice. Good. Auto attack. E through for HP. We should have a Q up again. Stonks. Very nice. And then we get the crap. Okay, good. Take the crap. Good. We didn't get everything we should have, but the outcome is, is pretty decent. What are you, what are you maxing here? Uh, Q, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
go in red form. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. <sighs> I've still seen a lot of people go three, I mean, at least for, even for blue cane, you go three points Q in the, into max W. Yeah. I've seen some Koreans, they love to go a four points Q it's, it's into that, because obviously the payoff in terms of cooldown is at three. So what was the cooldown at five uh, Q um, points is now at three Q points, so. You effectively get the cooldown benefit at, at that. I don't know if I use the Herald here. Oh, actually, yeah. I really wanted the points. <laughs> I mean, you still got four minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, I mean, we'll call it fine, but for me... It's about elevating the game state too soon. Mm -hmm. Are your bottom lane ready to ditch? Is your mid laner ready to ditch? Could you or Jax have done these by himself and made himself more fed? Yeah. I think yes to all of those questions. So, you know, here we you've got the kill. This ward's still here because you got to get that you got to get that um scan. Obviously, here you have the herald. Um, this should be down already. Like all of this should be down as is. You know. In fact, a good metric here is the wolves. You took the wolves and then the blue, right? The wolves are up again. So these might even be coming up for a second rotation if you had taken them first, which is whew, that's huge. But for me, I'm thinking, let's see, the Jax is destroying this Malphite. He could easily control this wave himself. So what else do you think you could do in this case? Instead of using Hero um, Top, what would be a secondary option? Like, say something drastic happened in the Jax. Passing down bot. Yeah. But also, we have 1300 gold, we can complete Warrior, we can get boots. What I would do is either recall in this moment and spend your gold, okay? Or you can sequence Gromp into blue and then recall. So the top quadrant is now finished. You don't have to worry about it for two minutes, yeah? Then we can go back to base, we get boots, we get warrior, we get some control wards, and then we can go roll on down. Your ult should be close to being up. Um, and if it isn't, you can simply do Raptors into Krugs. Like you go back to base after that, you go back to base, Raptors into Krugs to keep that uh, top to bottom sequencing. Okay, then your ult's up. Now let's tower dive bottom lane. Let's you look to use a Herald here. Because the top's under control. Like he doesn't need you for these two plates. He's got four minutes to get two plates. I think he's got it. You know? Whereas you could maximize, maximize team plates by going somewhere else. Uh, Cat's having a rough time, but it's, it's Vladimir, so, you know, such is life. Yeah. And in that case, you also... She will feel validated to hear that. <laughs> she should still be able to do fine, but I mean, you're, she's playing with a cane, so it's not... Like, when I play with a cat, I'm playing with a, a Rek'Sai. You know, I'm level 3 Flash, W, get my Halo Blades off, and it's free kills. Um, I'll see, keep that in mind. Yeah, in this, <laughs> in this case, because you show top lane, I mean, you've gotten... Let's see, since your death, right? You've done Wolves once, Blue once, you stole his red, so that's three. You did Herald and you did Krugs. That's four camps spread out all over the map rather than like six to eight that you could have had in that same time, just by a different pathing option. So here we're waffling a bit, but obviously we want to go in. See now Raptors are going to spawn again. So essentially that's like wasted 20 seconds. But we go bottom lane. Essentially you've got the same exact principle as what I was saying, waiting for your ult to be up, spending the gold, getting boots plus warrior, and essentially being in the location for dragon. But you missed out on one, two, three camps. So, order of events, right? But, I mean, again, ideas are good. Ideas are good. You dragon hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jax. See, now there's the counterpoint, right? But you've elevated the game state. You know? You're like, this, this is the most crucial thing. And this is not... This is what people say, I cannot control my teammates. Twitch chat, this is where you can control your teammates, right? Are your teammates ready for the elevated game state? Because the Jax now says, well, I've got no top tower, which means there's no more reason for me to exist there. Which isn't exactly correct, but his macro decision to move into the dragon, that's pretty good. Like, I'm happy your Jax is here because it helps you secure it. But again, look. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's giving them so much vision. Yeah, I want you to be paranoid. Every time you get counter jungle now, I want you to walk over the bushes, make sure it's not control warded. I um, absolutely will. <laughs> and secondly, I mean, this currently, you know, um, Katarina versus Vlad, he's just, he's got the shove, he's got the, look at, I mean, oh. Sorry, Katarina, I'm just, I looked at the CS difference, I'm a little. 
you know, that's it's a very <laughs> it's an unfortunate CS difference. But you could have all that CS at the very least. Like at least as long as one of you has the farm and has the experience lead, you can do OQ win every game, right? Mm -hmm. Um so here now you force the Jax into this decision by taking his tower, which means Malphite gets these plates and gets himself back in the game. Whereas if you didn't take the tower, Jax would reset and just naturally, as a byproduct of being in the elo you're in, go back top lane, thinking there's a tower there and a Malphite that I can destroy. Now, because we moved the Jax down to here, through the Herald play, this guy's getting all these free um, plates, which gets it back into the game, which is like, what, 160 per? So it's, it's a lot of gold. Um, yeah, you guys get the dragon, but now you're forcing your whole team to start playing mid-game stuff before the plates even fall. And it's, it's not your fault, right? They should, they can control their own brains, but they don't understand why. You know? Does it make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. And, and I think the most important thing here is, um, because we didn't maximize those two ganks, the bottom lane gank level three from the Grump counter jungling, and doing the top lane gank before the scuttle, you don't have form yet. You would have form otherwise. Yeah. Especially considering you'd be hitting Leona and Malphite. You know, and that's that's a lot of orbs because you just keep hitting him. It takes 3,000 like years to now die. Now I think I have form, but it's blue, and I really don't want to go Yeah, blue. yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly it. I see it. I saw it. That's why I thought about it. That's why I thought about it. I mean, obviously, they changed the way it works yeah. and stuff, but... You know, at least you don't have to wait three minutes like the old days. <laughs> See, now here, she, <laughs> she's fighting, waiting for you to go in. <laughs> but you don't have E. And he's, he's, what does he have? What does he have? Does he have pool? He has pool now. And R and flash and everything. I mean, I don't think and you kill him. Big up. No. Yeah, yeah. And this, this control was giving vision to everyone. And now because of this elevated state, yeah, you got this bottom lane tower from your Yasuo and stuff. But they're already taking your red buff. This guy's kind of clueless on the top side. It's incredible. Um, okay. Uh, second thing for Kane efficiency, let's make sure we buy our items. You can move to the edge of the step and buy your items while you're transforming. Yeah. Um, if you don't have anything to buy, of course, you can just, you know, take form by the tower. Here we go. Okay. Kane efficiency. Oh, we're standing still. We're typing. Okay. Oh. Now, why are we pathing bottom lane? Because uh, I have lost my mind at this point. <laughs> <laughs> are you actually tilted in this game? Oh, I was super tilted. Um, the, the, the Jax was yelling at me. Why? <laughs> I, I usually slash mute all because I get I get very easily tilted by people typing. Yeah, yeah, same. I don't type back, but it tilts me. Oh, I type back. It's But that's an EU West thing. We're a different breed. <laughs> okay, I see the tilt now. Okay, but... I'm just yeah, trying to, like, scramble to I'll, get something. I'll take the double kill. I'll take the double kill. But for me, it's not about that. It's about the fact that this Herald is sitting up. Mm-hmm. I don't care if this falls. Great, it falls. Thank you for all of this juicy experience. Remember, you are Kane. This is what we want. You know, you can take all of this. And what, what's a Rost when he's two levels ahead? Unkillable. You know, you're not gonna die. You, you're going Cleaver into Death's Dance build, right? Yep. Yeah. But, I mean, otherwise, you know, apart from the Flash W, which we'll ignore, double kill, shove the wave, <laughs> Um, we take the Gromp, but now we have to ditch. But in terms of raw experience... There we go. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Nice, good. So, we could have done that from the exact same play except on the other side. So here you got double kill, which is nice. You got four waves, you got Gromp, that's good. Um, we got to kill mid lane. I, all I'm trying to plant in your mind is why do we path this certain direction than the other? Yes, I want to defend this and be everywhere and get all the kills, that's great. Uh, this wave should actually end up stacking a little bit, right? Yeah, maybe some kind of neutral freeze slow push. In this case, I'm, I'm just the, all this experience that you've lost on the top side for me, kind of like all I see is I see is like 120 CS Kane, right? Yeah. Guys, do we see 120 CS Kane? That's what I see, at least, at least. And I think you know at that point you could one v nine, and that's all it is, you know. That's, that's all it is. That's all the kind of state you want to get to. Because once you become unkillable, your Katarina can just get resets off of your existence. Yep. Um. Don't ask me about that one. I, just, I don't have a good answer.
Okay. Um, I assume you left mid because you wanted to get the Herald. Yes, that was okay. where I was going. And then I didn't want the Alistair to die. Okay. This is the this is this is a cure for all low elo issues, guys. This is it. You want gold? This is this is this is your win condition. It's objective control and experience leads, not necessarily kills. So, if we go top side, we take Herald, we take his entire red side. We can fall back and get that same kill on the mid lane, right? Yep. We can then use Herald to shove this, which gets rid of this tower and makes it easier for you to engage this chokehold, especially as Katarina. Once you've done that, you can go back to base and reset. The dragon's going to be coming up shortly afterwards. That's second dragon for you guys. All of a sudden, you can defend and shove out this bottom wave, and now you've got total map pressure. No outer turrets, two dragons, total objective control in terms of um, uh, over the graves. You also will have, look at this, yeah, 62 to 90. You've done a good job on that, Sensei, but he's done a poor job, right? Let's not judge our metrics to the graves. Let's judge it by what we could be without the graves mm -hmm. existing. And at the same time, you could have made sure that this graves was on like 55 maximum, maybe 50, you know, just by those early counter junglings. Because this stuff, we don't really care about as much if we're getting all of his, and we can always fall back to this as necessary, you know? Like, this is your jungle. This is your jungle. And once you do that, you know, if you had that Herald and Second Dragon and this gone, your team is now forced into this grouping state where you can actually sort of disrupt and destroy, which, which is effectively what we want. Because as I see, you get caught on mid lane. Um, they get the tower. No one goes for the Herald. The dragon is spawning in um, under a minute. Graves is now confused. He's thinking, where do I go? I really want my red buff. I told you, these guys love the red buffs. Now I want my red buff. Why are you going topside? What do you want to accomplish? To get the Herald. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but that, I, I'm glad you're thinking. Uh, do you want the Herald? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I want the objectives that are on the map, not the ones that are not yet on the map. Uh, they're both on the map. Yep. Yes, they are. Let me ask you an objective question. Can Jax kill Malphite by himself? Absolutely. Can these three clowns... Sorry, can these two clowns plus your duo Katarina... No, he's a clown. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, he's a clown? Okay. They handle <laughs> themselves. No. So, for me, it's not about this stage of the game. Like, this this is irrelevant to me. It's it's about those five minutes before when you could have had total annihilation of the graves. You could be two levels up. Yep. Um, in this case, you want the Herald, but this dragon's going to be spawning. So, in my world, you already have the Herald. You've gone back to base. You're level 11. You've got Cleaver, and you're on the dragon now. And when you do that, you're here for this fight. Like, if you pretend everyone else in the, in the game does exactly as they've been doing, right? Because of the elevated game state that you caused, you could still have a second Herald and still win this fight by being here. Because there'd be no reason for you to be topside, would there? Because there'd be no camps up here. There'd be no Herald. There'd be no Crab. There may be a Gromp and a Wolf, but in the context of second Dragon plus winning this fight, I'm willing to give up a Gromp and a Wolf. Because yeah. by pathing top here, and your Katarina being caught out, you're sort of putting yourself away from the team. And this is a common theme that happens in these kind of games. Um, people get fed, they do well. Like, you're 4 2 five, you, you're, you're beating the Graves, you've definitely jungled better than him. But you're not... Like, you and your Jax are the super fed members, right? Mm -hmm. But the enemy team knows this. So as soon as they see you here, they're like, oh yes, please. Thank you very much. So I think... I, th I think that's good, right? There's so many good reactions you've had in this game, and when I asked you what you would normally do out of the game, you've sort of said, oh, like your mind's on the right thing. Um, but those two decisions about where you when you should have gone top, you went bottom, when you should have gone bottom, you went top. And that's okay. cost you, yeah, you'll get the Herald here, but it costs you a Dragon, it costs you a Teamfight, and it costs you momentum and tempo. Does it make sense? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I put that one in bold in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this is good, you know, but we're, we're not living in his jungle. You know, we're, we're, it looks like you're, you're kind of... Like, you could easily kill people if you had a bit more gold. How much gold do we have? 1,500. So we should look... We should look... What do we need? 1,750? So... Like, here, here there's no need to sort of dance around with them. If you're waiting for them to decompress the wave and push it into your tower, don't yeah. fall back and sort of float. 
if they're clearly pushing back and everyone's disengaging, you know, take your blue, take your wolves, and now you can eat over. I mean, that's the beauty of Kane. You can count, you can literally attack from anywhere. So if you're waiting for them to push, why not? Why not take some camps in the in the meantime? You know, like don't go to the way where there's no camps because mm -hmm. it's again, it's just idle idle hands, right? You're just sitting still. And uh, I mean, the Jax here, I'm watching it. The Jax is, look at this. <laughs> Good champion. Oh, I totally also could have backed and got Cleaver. I had Kindle Gem. Yeah. Oh, you did. It's true, actually. So you needed 1350. There you go. You didn't have enough the first time. So you could have actually just recalled here with your gold and joined this fight with Cleaver. Yeah. I mean, Yasuo stacking it, Jax stacking it. Yeah, it's a goodbye. I mean, it's always a goodbye, but it's a really goodbye in this game. A lot of auto attacking on your team. I feel like at this stage, you're a... Yeah. You know, Katarina just never got to play the game. Oh, good night. And Vlad is outscaled drastically. Graves is a champion. Leona Ash is so difficult to get onto. This is going to death ball now. Which is Ross, you don't care about. You can deal with it. But it's about can the rest of your team deal with it. Do you slowly bleed out? No, one Baron. Another dragon. Yeah, it's it's another, another like twenty minutes. But. Oh, good grief! How do they not close? Is everyone just too afraid? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> finally. You, they look, don't, I don't think anyone ever leaves the. Look! Look! You so. see this gap? You see this gap in the floor, with the herald? Yep. Have you noticed how it moves and it's dynamic? Like you're looking into another that dimension. Is, I had not noticed that. Look at this switch chat. You see this? That's where his LP is. <laughs> He's up peas down this hole, somewhere in this dimension, floating around somewhere. And it was his, but the Herald was displeased with um, the delaying take of him, of her, excuse me, of her, that, uh, you know, she absorbed all his LP. And look, look, the Katarina, she's like, Katarina, please just join me. Join me in this other dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kane mechanics, I think there's a little bit to work on. I, I, do you main him? How long have you mained him? Um, not really. I, I played him a lot before he got buffed, and then I switched to Shivana for a pretty decent amount of time, like, since this season started. Okay. And then he got buffed, so I was like, well... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very strong, yeah. Like, I mean, you're just... <laughs> Please give me my red that isn't here. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes! 15 minutes this control ward has been alive. Is that a record or what? The 15 minutes of stunkingly good vision. Look at this. This is a hero. What a... <laughs> the most efficient 75 gold it's, ever. It's well placed too. Look at this. You know, it's got good shading, beautiful edges, nicely feathered to any pathing through here. Uh, it doesn't quite hit the plant, which is fine, because they want to see the traffic. Like, this is a heavy traffic zone. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. But, you know, at, at, at this point, it... Uh... There you go. Good job. I'm very happy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I'm just I'm a little bit memeing at the moment because I feel like the, this game you can win this game, right? But it requires you um, to to just be farming your ass off. Like you should be Grump Wolves, Raptors, Krugs, clear the vision, place of vision, um, reset, wait for them, keep this sort of this whole area warded, and don't leave it. You know, don't leave this sort of triangle area. Um, make sure you have total control. I have a great game. Twitch chat, maybe, at the end. I have a game on PBE where we had in-houses, um, and I did that. So maybe I'll show you how I did that with Volibear after, at the end of all the coaching. So if you don't stick around, obviously, just watch the VOD. I might do it at the end, um, just to talk about how you can win this kind of game, okay? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I, th I think that can be helpful. Because that was in-house, we had communications. So it's obviously better, but it's great for Clash. But I mean, I don't, I mean, this just looks like a slow bleed, which is unfortunate because that's what you want to do as Kane, but you know. No, like, it's, it's just you're being better. slowly suffocated. You're being slowly suffocated and you're, you're not with your team and you're just in this, you know, like we can go for this. <laughs> Malphite things. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, per permission to, to go back in time. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think. You win this with these sort of scrappy fights. Everyone's split up. There's no cohesion. You said you're tilted. 
Um, I was. I will look at this it, Twitch. Cat, Cat was too. We, I think the whole team was. Yeah. At the end of the stream, yeah. guys, I'll look at something that shows you how to win this particular scenario. But for me, it, it's it's all about um, the early stuff. Level three gank. Uh, don't greed for this. You know it's watered. Make sure you have that scanner. When did you buy a scanner? Let me see. Too late. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. Herald, hey. Okay. So, no, we didn't. Okay, we didn't buy a scanner. So, ironically, uh, the universe said, right, the cane didn't buy a scanner, which is great when you're behind because you want vision in your jungle. So maybe the, the universe kind of knew. The void was speaking to you once again. But for me, in terms of seriousness, great moves here. Work on your mechanics for kiting and sustaining. Grump has more experience to try and suffocate, I mean, I mean, treat Grump with respect, but eradicate him from the map. E through, get some uh, orbs here, get some flashes, make sure you burn them down. That means you will have to give up this crab anyway, but from there, reset, right? Back to base, straight to this crab. Um, you die um, anyway, and you do that. But here's another thing we didn't talk about. We look at this lane. If you do this first, you gank this first, right? You, now you can go on down and take this crab, or you can simply go and take his Krugs. If you feel you're not confident enough to fight him, especially at the Raptors, this is also kind of jungling that you could have done, right? At least taking the Krugs, which should be level, f level one, excuse me. Well, there you go. Graves also letting me down. Um, <laughs> I was hoping for he, he was going to do a good job this so he could give you more experience. But yeah, like that, that's pretty huge. Now we see, this was good, right? This was very good. Sequence, okay, must sequence. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hello, no, this is mine, right? Um, I see you, okay, T rotates. We burn the flash, done. My job is done here, beautiful. He has to recall, he's level four. You get this, you reset, you buy your stuff, you get level six in red, you lane gank this sucker with your ultimate, you get kills, and that's a dragon. And boom, there you, if you do the things afterwards that you did, like you got the Herald, and you add in the counter jungling to this first six minutes, you're like eight to 10 minute rust and the games run away. And basically then you can just knock up Vladimir with all the, the bleed damage you like. Yeah. Okay. There's a quick summary. Sorry, I rinsed through it, but I'll-, I'll No, no, no problem. I'll no leave, problem. The <laughs> I'll leave the VODs up, yeah. Uh, any, yeah. Any, any sort of general questions? Um, or did we cover most of what you wanted to go over? I think you got you got about everything. More okay. Than I was expecting. Yeah, we are on page of notes now. Yeah, we're very thorough and we we poke a little fun uh, with with heralds, but yeah. <laughs> I think the these little things. The reason you didn't go up to gold um, was mm -hmm. was this stuff like you had good decision making, um, but then when you make this kind of mistake, you died once, you die here. Maybe you get a little scared of of venturing into the jungle and taking all his stuff, but you shouldn't be. Um, because that, that's the, that's the next play, you know, right here, as you go up, like, I'm just thinking, you know, he takes all your stuff, so take all his stuff in kind, and, uh, out of most objective, float on back, take everything else, and he's suffocated. You should be two levels up and enjoying, enjoying good stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks good. so much, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, good luck on your quest of gold.